Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Well, coming into tonight, the Q&D Lady Raiders had gone 367 straight days, yes, I counted the leap year, without losing a basketball game. It was a year ago Wednesday that Eric Orne's team last came up short after four quarters. That streak was put on the line tonight, however, as Q&D battled the number six team in Class 3A in Champaign Centennial. They went on the road in this one, and they were tested just back and forth all night. It was close down to the wire, but you'll see Cassidy Gangenbacher here. She loves the spot on the floor, just drains the three with a little bit of help from the rim, but it goes in either way. That's three for Miss Gangenbacher, and then she would drive in again for two. Coach Orn telling his team to stay with it. Again, this team ranked sixth in Class 3A polls. Champaign Centennial was coming into the season. Gangenbacher again, nice drive, strong finish. That's two more for her. QD led by just three points after three quarters. They moved to 10 0 this year, however, a 47 43 winner over Centennial tonight. Another close win for them. Good stuff. How about in Philadelphia? Marion County hosting Palmyra. In boys' action first, we'll start you off with great start for Ryan Woods Mustangs here. Casey Spratt's going to slip inside. Nice pass there from Reed Plunkett as well. That's two for him. And then Palmyra would counter with a quick look to Will Funkenbush, but then the Mustangs, they decide to get a little bit fancy. Here comes Plunkett again. He's going to find Mr. Spratt again. Lobs it up from about 30 feet out. Spratt is there for the fall away alley-oop lay-in. That's really good stuff, but Clay Pollard was the story tonight. Bucket and the foul lays it in off the glass there. He gets himself to the stripe, and he would just keep the motor running tonight. Pollard here off the miss. You'll see him come flying in, just rip down the rebound, and that's two more for him. And how about Pollard? Once again, he's going to drive here and get a nice bucket through the middle of the lane. Just knifes the up and under, gets a kiss off the front of the rim. That would force the Panthers into a timeout. Clay Pollard could not be stopped early on. Just everything going in for him. But then Palmyra was able to stay in control a little bit. Here's a Trevor Many jumper, just kind of pulls it up, hits it from the free throw line, extended there. And then Basil Keller, you'll see here, keeps his body in control. A beautiful back down, gets the spin off the glass. He co-led the team with 16 points, and that is exactly what Brian Many was looking to see. Palmyra trying to battle back from a deficit in the second half. A good cleanup here by Josh Holtz, and Palmyra hanging around. But once again, your move, Mr. Pollard. He would drive in just everything going in. As I mentioned, a nice little fall away off balance one-hander there. Just put any adjective on it you want. That's just a nice shot. He led all scores tonight with 26, but Brock Butler silky on the jumper right there. He also had 16 points for Palmyra as they erase a third quarter deficit and get a five point win tonight over Marion County 66 to 61 in the first game of the night. Girls action first quarter will take you to it. Destiny Johnson is going to come up and hit from about 12 feet here. And it was a very good start for Palmyra, but this is Marion County chipping away at it. They're down eight, but battling third chance points up coming here for Rox and Tobias. She's going to get these in just a couple of ticks before the buzzer sounds in the first quarter. Heads up play gets it to go. Mustangs down just six after a quarter of play. Second quarter. How about some more offensive rebound work here from the Lady Mustangs? Devin Johnson is going to come in off of that side there. The left side clean it up and they are down by just Four, but Katie Hinkle is going to respond to the three pointer here. That's three of her 12 points. Panthers go back up by seven at that point in the ballgame. Allie Dietrich then finds herself all alone inside. Nice assist from Lex Van Nostrand. Mustangs, though, are going to get back within six. Nice Jay here from Kaylin Spratt. She led the team with 14 points tonight. Palmyra's lead at this point down to three, but Megan Hooper drives and scores. Good stuff off the glass there in traffic. And you will see Hooper again here in just a moment. She led the team with 17 points. She's going to get one off the rebound here as the Palmyra Panthers pull away in the second half. It was very close at half, but Palmyra finds a way to pull away as they win it 56-36. Speaking of good wins, another one for the Western Illinois women tonight over Missouri Valley Conference foe Bradley. 92-81 winners at Western Hall tonight, and they just keep on rolling under J.D. Gravina. Also wanted to let you know, if you didn't hear at 6, Pittsfield is considering moving football only to the Sangamo Conference beginning in 2014. KHQA spoke with Pittsfield Athletic Director and current West Central Conference President Don Bigley this morning and confirmed that the school is actively pursuing moving only football to the Sangamo Conference beginning in 2014. Pittsfield did submit its proposal earlier this week and they will hope to hear back from the Sangamo Conference later in January so Bigley can let the West Central Conference know at, it, at its next meeting on January 30th, but football would be the only Pittsfield sport moving. All other, all other sports would stay in their current conference. So more to come on this story in the coming weeks.